Uh, hello everyone. Uh, new QuickBooks Online, they uh, introduced a few uh, new features uh, just this week and I just like to go through uh, uh, all the changes they made uh, uh, by one by one here. Uh, the first thing they did here is the, uh, the, the financial disclosure here, all the finance information uh, display uh, on the home page side. So now uh, if you just click the private mode uh, all the financials, company financial will basically uh, will disappear. You know, they just come up with the, uh, the way to high financial numbers uh, on home page. So this was a, a hard discussion uh, for a long time, you know. So basically, uh, if you click it, you will still see all the financial numbers. But if you just click the uh, private mode off, then it's gone. So that's good news. Uh, this the, the private mode is still on, uh, up in the front page here so that's still under discussion whether this is the right place to put this uh, uh, private mode or should be uh, somewhere like in the company settings so that's the discussion for another day another thing they did here is the uh, uh, so when you click the plus sign let's say you click the invoice uh, it will now it will give you uh, some recent transactions here. In the past, there wasn't anything. This this looks like a very blank form. Now, if you just click it here, the clock here, they just added this clock. So it will give you some uh, recent invoices here, right here. This was a uh, new one. So if you want to click recent invoices, you can just click it here, and it also applies to some other. Uh, as well and another thing they did here is the uh, sales form customization this is the uh, always the uh, the hardest one uh, and uh, so they added the uh, this fresh customization template form so they call it fresh and uh, uh, so now they have uh, three types of templates here. Template any, uh, eerie, fresh, and friendly. And uh, uh, if you click the eerie one uh, and more, now you can you can uh, select the window uh, envelope compatible plus pay stops here. So this is for, uh, this is for uh, eerie only. So if you click friendly and more, then you won't get this envelope feature here. So this is this is uh, only for Aerie here. Aerie, you can click window envelope, but if you click select uh, fresh and more, that one is not available. Okay, and another thing uh, here is the temp, uh, the, the time sheet one. So the time sheet, it was uh, very, uh, was taking too much time to fill out this time form, time sheet. Now they basically added uh, a description here. It used to be, uh, it, it will go all the way up there. Uh, it's hard to scroll and it was not user friendly at all. So uh, uh, now they just added description in here and uh, also the subtotal by day here. So if you just click one here, uh, you will see here, you get a subtotal here and a total here. And the description you can put it here whatever you want like this uh, so in the past if you are if you, if you are familiar with time sheet entry you will you will have, you will have noticed it will have gone the, the other way now it's just all in one page uh, it's, it's easy to scroll basically that's what it is and uh, another thing they did here is the uh, receive payment so in the past, when you receive payment, you have to select customer and then select the uh, invoice number here, which, you know, which, which, which invoice customer paid. So that was very, very time consuming. If you have a bunch of invoices outstanding, it was just uh, uh, time consuming for, for, uh, uh, for m m many uh, users. So now they added, what they did here is, uh, uh, they added the uh, 
receive receive payment so this will receive payment and as you can see here now you can uh, search by invoice number you just can find by invoice number this is a new one find by invoice number so you just click it here and put invoice number and uh, it will show up right there so now it's invoice number and you don't need to go through this customer uh, it's it's kind of time time saving for uh, the many users they have to deal with uh, all kinds of receiving payments so that's good news now uh, another thing they did here is the uh, uh, let's say you you have plus sign here and expense you're entering uh, let's say uh, all expenses or credit card transactions and uh, you want to enter let's say uh, all the credit card transactions I'm just giving you an example here all credit card transaction statement in one page so you can just add add lines and save so in the past you know it used to be just save and close and uh, save and new uh, so in the middle of entering all the big uh, big statement you know sometime you know you get logged out and you lost all your work so that was not good so now they added this uh, save here so you can just enter a few lines uh, let's say uh, $100 here and save right away and uh, you can still uh, enter uh, again So basically, you can just save and come back and enter again. Another one, and keep on add, keep on adding here. So that's pretty good. As you can see here, so you can keep adding now. So keep add another one and save it. So this way, you're not going to lose all your entries. So this applies to the expense form and uh, let's see the other one here invoice one right here the save so if you're writing a long invoice uh, you won't lose it so you can just uh, in enter a few lines here and save it into another few lines and enter and save it so especially if you have like uh, 20 lines to bill uh, this is very helpful And another thing is the, the statements. You want to send statements to a customer and it's kind of hard to figure out uh, uh, wh where to uh, send statements. In the past, you'd have to come to the, the place where you have statements here. But now they added uh, a statement. If you just go to a customer and your customer uh, center here, customer detail. So from now, you can just uh, send statement from here. So you have your... Uh, uh, customer center customer detail here so you can just send statement from here so you don't have to go back and uh, uh, go to another place and uh, send out a statement here so now it's basically you know it is been here statement uh, and uh, from here statement right here but now if you just go to customer level uh, customer detail you can just send out a statement from here right here so that's pretty handy Now another thing here is the uh, you can search by uh, uh, by company and contact name here. So let's do it here, and then you can search by uh, the company name here. Uh, in the past, it was only it was not available at all. So now you can uh, do the uh, the searching. Finding a customer is is a lot easier now. So if you just go to customer list. And you can just do the searching right here. So I'll just do the searching here. ABC trading right here. So all I have is one, but if you have a hundred, you have if you have one thousand or more, then it's pretty easy. You just have to type in here and do the searching here, right here. Right here, like that. So this feature is 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 very helpful, you know, if you have a long list of customers and in the past. It was just very, very time consuming and it's basically wasting, wasting your time. So this is pretty uh, good, 
new new view, new good feature view. Okay, the other one is the uh, uh, the printing check. So if you click it here, it used to be under transactions. Now as you can see here, che uh, printing checks is gone. It's not it's not here anymore. It used to be uh, right right after the register here. It used to be uh, over there. So now it's gone. Uh, so in all uh, in all all features, it used to be under right after register here, but now uh, it's all gone. So what they did here is the uh, they move to expenses here. So print checks is here. So we can go back and discuss this, whether this is a good place to put it. No, don't, not sure what's the advantage of having this in here, but they claim they have added some new uh, uh, new new features. Uh, and uh, so uh, that's what it is. So basically it is added, so transactions, expense, and print checks right here now. They moved it here. So this one's going to be, uh, uh, in my view, it's going to be pretty hard, hardly contested uh, chains. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's hidden here someplace. People even can't find it. I can tell right away people are pretty unhappy about this move. So, you know, it was standalone, was pretty good. So it was under transactions, and that was pretty good. But now you have to click transaction, transactions first, and let's say from home page, okay? So now let's say you want to print checks. Click transactions first, print checks still not there. So then you go to expenses, and then you have to select print checks here, like this. So it's... Uh, more like a one more step or two more step in the past it was still pretty hard to figure out it's not here so you have to click transactions and then select print checks now it's one more step not a smart move okay so let's move on to another one here uh and this one is not a big thing but some people uh, uh find it kind of useful so let's say you go to customer center here and click it here and now as you can see here now it says notes so if you want to write it used to be other details here so there you press it and let's put in notes here uh nothing big but that's what it is notes here and uh Uh, another thing they did here is the invoice one here. Uh, as you can see now, the service date, there's no uh, service date here for now, but if you go to uh, set up the service date, it will show up in here. So you have to go to the uh, uh, settings and do this service date here. It's off now. Let's, let's make this uh, service date on. As you can see, this is from settings, sales, service date, save. Now, let's see what happens if you, when you open your invoice. Now, as you can see here, the service date is right here. Service date, plus, plus column is uh, service date and product and services. So, if, you, if you're doing the service business, you can just enter it here and then move on to. Uh, next column is product and services and for some product and for some customers some uh, some sort of uh, customer the product and service doesn't mean very much but it, it was still printing it so now you have a choice whether to uh, whether not to print product service just to print service date here so if you don't want to print product and service then you have to go back to the uh, your settings here company gear settings and then you have to make change here, which is the uh, settings list, uh, uh, service date, custom field, let's see here.
so we have a service date in here and uh, so so you want to sell products products see right here if you unclick this one so product service column on your sales form on or off so this is a new one so if you don't want unclick it and save it so next time you want to when you print it or you won't have product and service so right here So product service gone now. Service date and description here. So uh, for some uh, uh, businesses, that's all they need. Another thing they did here was the let's say you're writing zone entry. Let's say. Uh, debits and credits here okay now if you want to move it here uh, all you have to do is uh, move this cursor and bring it down here so that's a big change in the past this was uh, pretty fixed you can't do it but now it's like uh, move it down here like this so that's one new thing they did and uh, uh, and some of the things they did here is the uh, as you can see is they added a save one here it also apply to zone entry so if you have a long zone entry form like uh, 30 lines you know you don't you don't get lost so just, just save it and just keep on continuing you know so right here so that's pretty uh, helpful uh, not wasting the time uh, and basically they have they added some bitter tabbing in the past it was like a horrible uh, way to do tabbing now they've added some new t way to do tabbing uh and also they also added some uh uh some of the minor uh features nothing big uh they added the way to uh, uh mark up calculus and product and services uh so if that's what's uh is of interest uh so basically that's about it uh, that's all they did uh, on this uh, new uh, release in May. But once again, the hardest one to me would be the uh, the uh, printing checks here. It makes no sense why it's in here. Uh, it was it was extra step here, uh, and it used to be in here. It was under transactions. I would have much preferred to have on the home page here and the print checks separate. That would be nice. Just on phase, print check separate. So that's about it, and uh, I'm sure you will have more questions. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.